Hello everybody, welcome to round three of the planes. We've got Lamar Soleil with Dark Elves, with double assassin Dark Elves, is it? No, it's a normal, real Dark Elf team. Up against Denarian with his Black Orcs. And uh, so, so Narin gets to use his two tacklers now. He'll be able to see if these two tacklers are good. Uh, he's got his block troll to do all the blitzes with. A sneaky git uh, goblin to try and get lucky. Uh, Lamar Soleil probably shouldn't be allowed to use this uh, pitcher because it's absolutely horrendous. But never mind, he is using it, and uh, he's gone. He's gone for the uh, the more Artemis build of p putting a tackler. Art says he'll always take a tackler. And uh, so he's got three dodger tackle, a couple of wrestles, uh, and only only five positional. So he went with four four blitzes rather than two witches, and he's got the reserve three re rolls. Um, right, they've both got three re rolls. Oh, blessed statue of Nuffer! What does that do? What does this do? So yeah, twelve twelve for the Marcellate. 14 for an Aryan, no apples in play on either side. Uh, I'll upload this to YouTube second, so yes, I I lost Slim. It was a uh, good night, or oh, don't. It was a uh, it was a tragic. It was a timeout, a timeout. And funny if there were two timeouts on the drive as well, right? Mine started with a timeout, so I didn't even get as long a drive to score. So that was a bit that was a bit tasty. And then there was a timeout to give it back, but then he got, he got the extra turn <laughs> to uh, to two turns, so and just you know a lot of dice, a lot of dice. I remember he played well, right? He played well. I I didn't couldn't do anything on defense, but then what can dwarves do on defense anyway, right? Not a lot. I was just pretty much hoping for overtime anyway. I was pretty much like you know as soon as the draws made, I'm pretty much just hoping for overtime, right? That's how I beat orcs pretty much. Either I do so much damage on offense. That he, you know, like, like, I'll get really lucky, you know, like Dave or Lucky, um, and then he's he can't do an offense. That there's a chance of that. There's also a chance of, uh, of you know, I like can make a mistake or rolling really badly, like a really bad one in eight, one in eighty one on on offense. But you know, unless he gets really unlucky, all I can hope for is win the win the toss, right? Or he plays really badly, but he wasn't going to play really badly, and he didn't play really badly. I don't think. He probably didn't make any mistakes at all. Um, no, I guess his defense against the riot was a bit bad, <laughs> and like maybe is you know maybe maybe the odd thing, right? But nothing, nothing that you could really say was terrible. I wouldn't say. Well, I wouldn't say anyway. Yeah, tanks chunter, and uh, yeah, I mean it doesn't matter. Like at the end of the day, it doesn't matter, right? It was really, it was really unlikely to qualify, and I only played the five games in the. Uh, in the NAF thing to qualify anyway, right? So like, I'd played less than everybody else to, to qualify for the play-ins. And the play-ins were very low odds to uh, to get through realistically. You're about one in four, aren't you? Yeah, 30% though, right, of the reroll. It wasn't, it wasn't insane odds. That was a sad thing. Like once it got to there, and I should have put the guard in the middle, so it would have only been a one day blitz. You know, that, that changes it a lot, right? Making it a one-day blitz into uh, having to dodge off. Just one of those things. It's easy to do, right? It's easy to do, putting that guard there, honestly. I misclicked it with something else as well, just because the interface is terrible. Oh, at the end, I fucking misclicked the fucking follow, didn't I? So I didn't even get a chance to fucking surf him. Not that I rolled the six on the dodge in any way, probably, so... It's terrible, terrible. I could barely block him, and then I, uh, I didn't follow. So that was fun. Ah <laughs> yes, JFI. Yeah, try and get Squirrel to volunteer. This is a uh, supreme gamesmanship from La Marseille. He's got the worst dice. He's got the worst pitch. <laughs> uh, Oh, he, he, he does have just a blue team. I'm surprised he didn't have like uh, you know like this horrendous color from from an area and like that's poor. Oh, that's something else. <laughs> I 
Yeah, Chunter. I mean, like, that, that's the thing. Like, nobody was really going to outwork... Uh, nobody was really going to outwork Art or Chunter, right? Like, who could play? So, it's a while, you know, I'm sure lesser Blood Bowlers played hundreds of games. They were never going to, uh, they were never going to get the results of Chunter and Art. So, it would have been really hard, even if I'd tried to get top two, it would have been really hard to, uh, to hold it on the last few days against them too. Be hard for anyone. Oh, he's got pro on a black orc. That was the golden statue of Nuffle or whatever. Was that any skill of his choice? I was no it's pro, isn't it? What the one that's any skill of your choice isn't in, I don't think. Pro is the lesser version. Well he's got a tackle blitz here if he wants it. And then a big gang foul. It's not terrible, is it? Or he could 3D the wrestle. He wants to use his tackle. Rolls of power anyway. <laughs> Classic blood ball. I want to see a huge gang foul here. I mean, Chaos are a great team, but yeah, that's one of the benefits of the Chaos, isn't it? You know, like destroying the other people's teams is pretty good, right? Yeah, no, I didn't want to do it. I didn't want to do it all. No, I, I like I, I, you know, I had my orc team, and I thought, look, if I get a lucky run, I'll, I'll tilt at the top two, and I just didn't get the lucky run. So I thought I'm not going to fucking grind it to the extent Chunter and Art are. But uh, I, I kind of hate this guy being one up, right? He should just be one back and then assisting the big gang for. So no, I definitely didn't. I definitely didn't want to grind unless I've got lucky. I didn't. I'm not sure about that. I think I think here was better. One to the one to the right was better. I get it. They like hand traps this guy a bit better, but I keeps your options open. Well, he would have failed even with the extra one. I really like having the extra assist on. I wonder why he didn't have that there. Also, I'd have liked having the troll here and like not fully trapping him, just to just to have the troll somebody next to the troll to activating. <laughs> yeah, exactly, Chunter. Yeah, yeah, you are you are number one gamer. Yeah, yeah, exactly, J Five. Yeah, it's it's rough, but like you know, I didn't mind like playing five games a day or whatever, but like you know, I would have needed a lucky run right at some point, and I just didn't get one, so I I was happy stopping, but um. But, you know, like, obviously I could have just had a lucky run, and uh, if I had a lucky run, uh, I would have definitely thought about playing a lot on the last day. It, it gets... The thing The thing about the making the push was you need a 2K TV team, because otherwise you'll be down TV, right? So, like, it's the same for this ladder. You've got to be 1,800. Like, there's no point making a team that isn't 1,800, because you, if you do, if you make a... You know, if your team is 1,600, you will be down 200 every game. Versus like your rivals, like you, you can't win down win down two hundred TV realistically. Like you know, my orcs, had they had another three hundred TV, could have fought Mister Page's or uh, Chaos, but they couldn't down three hundred TV. So yeah, yeah. So you have to hit the you have to hit the cap if you're serious about finishing top two on ladder. So it looks like now they're just gonna have play-ins, right? So you don't actually have to get top two anymore. That was, that will probably just be for this, this thing. And like maybe they'll have a few tournaments to qualify for the big cash money tournament. But yeah, I'm, I'm not too sad. It would have been it would have been really hard to qualify anyway. Yeah. Get a four assist foul if we want it. Hello, run bad. It was, yeah, it was it was really fun to follow. Really, really, really nice. Like you, it's weird, right? Because Blood Bowl 3 is it's ugly. It's ugly and it doesn't play well. <laughs> but 
you know, just like competition is fun, isn't it? You know, like even fucking darts, you know, it's just like, it's fucking, you know, drunken idiots, drunken geezers playing a almost skillless pub game. And people still enjoy watching that, don't they? Like <laughs> any, any kind of competition is pretty fun. So. <laughs> <laughs> you know, darts players. Imagine being a darts player and having the gold to call yourself a sportsman. It's outrageous. He's a genius for you know being completely, completely, the the most skillless sportsman of all time and getting a career and uh, millions of dollars. He's, he's he is a genius. <laughs> So yeah, absolutely, I absolutely agree, Kelsey. I wonder if he's putting all of these to stop the to stop the the surf. There might be like a chain on right now. Man, there was nearly some spicy chains in the uh, in the hook and bubbin game, but he he sorted them all out, which was annoying. I would have liked to have done a spicy chain, but it just didn't happen. Yeah, I, th I, I, uh, I think it's really good, isn't it? I think it's really good having, having like it's something a bit more, something competitive. So he just goes for the two assists because he doesn't want to get served or anything. Gets away with it. Can win error, yeah. I'll probably go out the first round of error. <laughs> <laughs> I'll probably go out the first round. I think it's versus like Monster. I think it's versus Monster Amazons. Very likely to be versus Monster Amazons. And like my tackler fucking died. My strength four tackle frenzy died. You know, so I could have used her to get loads of knockdowns. Lost it. So yeah, probably. Probably going out in the first round of Era BB. Um. But you know, it is what it is, isn't it? It is what it is. Versus versus Galentio, I could have played better on. Uh, I could have I could have just stood up a couple of guys, and then I go into half time and nil nil. So it was, it was like a bigger misplay versus Galentio. Like you know, only one turn. I didn't really misplay on this. It was just I could have put the guard in the middle instead of on the end. So it was a slight misplay. So both games was like well, a pretty big misplay against Galentio and a slight misplay against Wimbledon. But then obviously, even if it had gone overtime versus Umbubbin, he could have won the toss. If he wins the toss, he very likely wins. Um, and, but, but, you know, obviously if I win the toss, I would have had a shot. Is what it is. No regrets. Can't win him all. Yeah, it's pretty good. Like it, it's good to stop you getting diced once, <laughs> or making a mistake once. It doesn't stop you uh, getting diced and making a mistake twice. <laughs> but like for example, Noxa, right? Noxa versus Devo. It was brilliant for him to get an extra chance, right? Because like that was that game was insane. Like that game was just completely insane. Nobody. Nobody could have ever, nobody could have ever won that game uh, against Davo. Like you know, taken, taken ten cars, like something like you had like four Saurus out by like turn three or something, like just a random block. There's just nothing he could have done about it whatsoever. So, you know, at least it stops that kind of bullshit. And yeah, who knows, if I'd put guard in the middle, maybe he wouldn't have scored. And I would have got the overtime and might have won. And if I'd stood up my players versus Galentio, maybe would have uh, would have won that as well. So, yeah, my fault. Anyone can get lucky, can't they? Yeah. That's the that's the thing. Nobody's that good enough to stop them not getting lucky.
bring a dice start the other day, didn't he? <laughs> You know, there's some people that could dice somebody and not win, isn't there? But as long as you're in the uh, win if you dice somebody category, you can win if you dice somebody. <laughs> and not even dice them, just get decent dice or whatever, you know, key things like that mistake that I made versus Glenn, you're right. If I don't make that mistake and if I played a little bit of it on the drive, like I didn't play very well on the drive either. Because I was just scared. I was, after the page game, I was scared of uh, like leaving easy hits on the ball, but I shouldn't have been, you know, like, or any hits, not even easy hits, just any hits on the ball. And I shouldn't have been. I should have played it like a proper drive. And if I played it like a proper drive, I would have given, you know, like a tiny bit of a chance of a one day or whatever, but then I would have got my players further forward and I wouldn't have had to roll so many dice on turn seven. And then I wouldn't have had the chance to make the mistake that I made and I would have just scored. Now he might have just dacked and won one nil anyway. I wouldn't want you know winning overtime anyway. It is what it is. Yeah. They can battle people who play better than them. You know. Like you don't need to. Uh, you don't need to be as good as Artemis to beat Artemis, do you? You just need to be able to take advantage of the chances that you get. And to be that good isn't very good at all. <laughs> and you know, like, yeah, okay, I could have probably defended better versus, uh, versus Hub and Bubba. But he could have done, like, the wrong things, right, on the, on the two turn, but he didn't. But he could have he could have done the wrong things on the two turn and not scored. It's like some people wouldn't have taken advantage of that slice of luck, and then obviously he played the offense. I mean, maybe my offense, my maybe my defense was terrible, but he didn't do anything wrong with his offense to think whereas other people could have done. Is he, is he going to surf the, surf the, double surf here? Forget the ball, just double surf. Is that the play? Look, go ball to there, ball to here, bish bosh bash, bish bosh bash, and then you've got to have I fucking like that play. Cause you ain't gonna fucking win, right? like you, you black orcs, you shit, you fucked, you completely fucked, you shitty fucking black orcs. So I think, based on the fact that you shit black orcs and you've got no chance to win, you do the double surf play here, surf two, uh, surf two, blodge blitzers. It's pretty fucking good, isn't it? Yeah, like, you know, like, what's he called? Uh, Hub and Bum's, like, absolutely top tier, by the way. 71% win rate in CCO. He's, uh, he's unquestionably top tier, isn't it? So, like, he was, he's not a, he's not a good example, but, you know, he's not a good example, but the situation's a good example, right? Because, you know, some people could have got that. Some people could have set up better for the, uh, for the timeout than he did. And some people could have, you know, taken advantage of it, like not taken advantage of it as well. Hate this, hate this from an Arian. I genuinely hate that. I genuinely hate this from an Arian. I'm surfing to, to, uh, two blitzers all day there. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. I'm surfing both blitzers. I mean, I'm probably not surfing them, but I would try, you know. I guess he's just going to score and lose 2-1.
It's slightly annoying, like, you know, to have made. Not massive, well, it was massive mistakes in the Galenio game. Not a massive mistake against uh, Open Bowling, but. Could have made the difference. <laughs> well, you can watch him lose, Samage. <laughs> You've got that going for you. Um, I mean, my I had my game sandwich, so that was, you know, the highest quality, but I fucking lost. <laughs> oh, I hate this. I hate this. I hate this from Inarian. What is he playing at? What is he playing at? So now he doesn't score and loses the half 1-0. Not what I would have done. But who can say if it's good or bad? <laughs> he is stalling, yeah. He's also giving the hit into like into so many 2Ds, it's outrageous, isn't it? He doesn't have tackle on these two. So you can just, I mean, you can 2 into 1, right? You don't even need to do anything special. Just 2 into 1. And uh, and then this dude comes in, blitzes him, and then you've got 2, then another 2. Go in the, good chance of going to the crowd. My uh, my surfing the 2 blitzes looks a lot better play now. Than just doing this. Yep, it was very sad, Samage. I played a near-perfect offensive drive where all of the dice were brilliant. Um, and Hub and Bubba didn't really get close to doing anything, pretty much, on defense. You know, there's one or two things that maybe you could say could have been a bit better, but overall, pretty amazing offense. And then there's a fucking riot timeout, as it is now. And uh, so that meant that he... Uh, he got a two turn and then rolled all of the dice <laughs> to get the two turn. And then on offense, I couldn't get, I couldn't do anything on defense. Couldn't do anything versus Orcs on defense. But you know, would have had the chance of the, uh, would have had the chance of winning in overtime. Right? Okay. Uh, what? Is he gonna blitz with the blocker? What is happening? What are these people doing? <laughs> I don't understand. I don't understand why Anarian said, please sack my ball. And then Le Marcellet said, no, no, I won't sack your ball, actually. Please enjoy your score. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Wow. He didn't change this from a 2 into a 1, did he? This was still going to be a 2 into a 1. So he didn't make that safer at all. Bamboozled. At least he didn't put a bludger on the tackle. <laughs> So you've got grab block, you've got troll blitz. He's got a few more turns, he can, he can, like now all that's happened is that suddenly Anarion has his three guys that can come back and connect everything 
And he can like probably stall up here, right? He can probably get the ball in a cage here now. <laughs> what the what the hell happened? What the hell happened? With that turn. I really like the double serve. I don't even care how, how unlikely it was. I like going with the double serve. Cause... I mean, I I wouldn't use Black Oaks anyway, right? But I also just don't ha understand how you think you're going to win as Black Oaks versus all, like versus Dark Elves anyway. Like, just how do you think you're going to win? You know? Like, you have to get insanely lucky. Is he just, I think he's just going to stall this turn. Maybe he can stall it, eh? Maybe he can stall. But I guess he gets somebody surfed. Oh, he doesn't get the pow. Gonna end the turn. <laughs> he hasn't blitzed yet, has he? That's why I didn't get this follow. I was to give the assist, but he could have just stood up for the assist. And then you would have had. Like one, two, three, four, five to score a stall. Now he's a great dodge. I think he's got a dodge in the corner, hasn't he? Oh god, he does a 1D. Double skulls. Funnily enough, ending the turn would have been better. <laughs> <laughs> Ending the turn would have been better than that. He does have two tackle black orgs. I guess he thought it's because he was going to auto lose to any elves. Which he's still going to auto lose to the elves. He could have surfed the two blodgers. He could have surfed the two blodgers. Like, it needed a few dice the, the turn before. But, uh, a couple of turns before, he could have surfed both of the blodgers. And I think he should have done. Yeah, exactly, Chunder. Yeah, we talked about it in one of the things. He like somebody blitzed and base, and it's like, well, you know, this is a. You're hoping for not, you know, you're hoping for like not a one in nine and stuff like, with a reroll. Like it was so. It was so low odds of working. But yeah, I think that is ingrained with a lot of people. Is that, you know, risk is bad and stuff. Uh, the pro is it gained off the. Uh, the pro was gained off the uh, Preston Nuffle uh, kickoff event. Uh, I, I don't know if it's random or he chooses. If he chooses, surely giving it the troll and making the troll super troll would be good, wouldn't it? And then you've got a block pro troll, would be pretty cool. Yeah, like, and I'm honestly hoping the opponent won in nines. Oh, I can't have a loan, fair enough. Like, hoping the opponent won in nines works well for ladder a lot of the time, probably, right? Like, that's the funny thing, you know? Like, even while it's pretty, you know, we agree that it's not the best odds. And, uh, it's probably, you know, not what you should do in these situations. Oh, my God. Um... The thing is, it's so, uh, it you know, it's going to work a lot of the time who people who don't find the right play and stuff. Do you know what I mean? Like, if it's, if it's, you know, what I'm trying to say is lots of people are shit at Blood Bowl. And you don't need to do the right play against them. So, you know, maybe Ladder encourages, like, just doing the safe play and then 
hoping that your opponent doesn't find the correct play. You know, the chance, there's a chance, like, you know what I mean? It's like, it's like, it's like folding equity in poker, isn't it? You know? Like, calling an all-in is, is terrible because you just, they, they, you, they can't fold. And versus, like, versus the, the people in this, that's what you're doing. You're just calling their all-in by putting a, putting a guy next to the ball. Whereas, whereas versus the random ladder people, you've got the folding equity of them just not finding the correct player or, you know, doing a random blockless block at the other side of the pitch and using the reroll on that and stuff. So you get a lot of, you get a lot of like implied odds by how bad people are. Super interesting. This is a nice chain, isn't it, to get 2D on the ball here, if he's doing it. He's not doing it. I really like pushing to here. And then this guy goes 1, 2, 3, 4, GFI, GFI. Hits him, pushes him into there. He blocks him, pushes him to here. And then you get the 2D with tackle. Uh, or like, And obviously you might just power him on the first hit as well. Oh, so his way... I don't know what his way does. His way he pals and then he runs in and stands him up and then runs in and blitzes and then gets him there. But my way was better. <laughs> I'm sure. Than whatever he was thinking. So he's done it like a bit of a harder way and he's already activated the other tackle guy which I think well oh he's surfing okay he's surfing oh that's pretty good actually isn't it yeah okay this is pretty good disregard errata errata <laughs> this is actually pretty good isn't it just surfing the ball yeah my bad ah maybe he'd have done this some people like surfing, don't they? But no, I think I think my I think my way was better. Because yeah, now you now the ball's anywhere, right? And now the and now this elf just stands up and gets it. <laughs> yeah, okay, I think he would have done my way. I think I think yeah, I think surfing is bad. And he should have done it my way because now this guy just literally stands up and picks up the ball and runs away. <laughs> he's out. He's out of turns to score, though, isn't he? Or is he? One, two, three. GFI, GFI. Four squares in. Yeah, he's out of range to score. And everyone else's as well. But, um... Oh no, he's not. So he doesn't pick it up, right? He just double GFIs and then he passes it to him. So he's just got to double GFI and pass it to him. So he is in range to score. So he doesn't pick up the ball at all. He double GFIs. Yeah, he's in range if he double GFIs. I'm worried about getting it to him later. You've got to go for the score here, right? You don't go for the pick up. You go for the double GFI and then try and get the ball to him. It's hilarious that the ball throw, throws in at his feet and he just goes, no, I'm not going to get this, thank you very much. I'll just run the fuck away. <laughs> I mean, picking up the ball is better for not losing, isn't it? You know, like, but uh, that's better. I guess you could just try and pick it up with somebody else first. Like this blitzer, maybe. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, this blitzer, so he could he could tag there, couldn't he? And he could blitz here, and then run through and pick it up with a blitzer first. And then if he fails these GFIs, it's not so bad. So that's probably what you do. This guy into here, blitz, push to there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Then you've got the ball and a blodger. And, uh, okay, or you just blitz this goblin. Not what I'd have done, but who can say if it's good or bad.
You can always pass it to him next turn. Can't you? But now running away from the ball it looks pretty fucking stupid. Okay, he does run away from the ball. He does his two GFIs. He just runs around with this guy. With two GFIs. Waste to reroll. Oh my god. No, not what I would have done. But who can say if it's good or bad. That was pretty awful, wasn't it? I like, could have just had the ball and a blotcher. And instead, did an extra two GFIs. Oof. Oof. But at least, he, at least he did the right thing of, you know, trying realising that he'd be out of range if he picked it up, so he had to just be a scoring threat. Didn't take this serve, right? Didn't he have this serve? I guess he didn't. Have, he couldn't cancel that. Ball quitty. <laughs> can the, uh... Can he do anything with chains here? Maybe. I don't know what it is. Yes, it can free the Black Hawk. Can't he? 1D, you can 1D the witch, but he's got a power. Now we can just dodge. Or maybe you just block with the Black Oak and then uh, this guy comes and picks it up in a tackle zone, comes back, lobs it to this guy who goes through the square where this guy was served. Easy. Easiest, easiest play of his life here for an Aryan. One, two, three, four, five, six, GFI, GFI, lob to him. Skull. Wow, gets a cards from the surf. Yeah, I think he got a blitz that block the uh We could he can even blitz the witch elf, right? Yeah, this is alright actually. Knocks her over, pushes him to the Man, I hate that it says use dodge when you're getting hit by tackle. That's like the most annoying thing. So now only one tackles on and that gobble follows. I wouldn't have followed, I'd come back and tag this, tag the ball, right? Tag the ball so there's less chance of you just losing. <laughs> Pretty shit from an Aryan. This guy could have gone one, two, three and GFI and then been strength four on the ball. So this shitty goblin. What's his play now? I, mean, I guess just put another tackle zone on it. I don't know why he did a blitz here, because he powed. It was the best possible thing that could have happened to him. And he just followed and didn't do anything else. Got no reroll left. So maybe he just goes one, two, three, four, five. Maybe he just stands on the ball, but shouldn't he have just done that ages ago? So two tackle zones. Not easy, is it? He could have had the ball and a bludger. I don't know how many times I've got to say this, but he could have had the ball and a bludger and just <laughs> two plus away with dodge, two plus handoff, and two two to score. Yeah, he wants to. He wants to do something. Probably maybe he's a three two. One, two, right, maybe he's an uphill here. Oh no, so you 2D there and see if you power him. And then can this guy get in? One, two, three, four, GFI. Then you can 1D him. Then you can 2 plus and blitz him. And then that makes. I don't even know if that's even better than just trying the 4 plus, honestly. Maybe it's better to go one, two, three, four, five, six, hand off. Oh, 
well he is just going for the 4 plus handoff it's just a random blitz for damage there's a 6 there's a 2 Rolls a one. Gets away with it. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. <laughs> yes, chicken, yep. Oh, art. Scumbag art. Well, no one's, no one's, uh, no one's streaming with me. So, what I can do is, I can make this pick up my monitor. Right. And then I can be in here. Tink. Wait, <laughs> is this art <laughs> got me up? Can anyone hear this? Okay, people can't hear the echo, good. So this should be alright. Fucking gremlins, I was gonna watch gremlins. <laughs> Fairy tale fables. I haven't. No, I saw. I saw. Uh, who did? Who did I see playing it? Um, Icarus, I think. And it looked terrible. It looked terrible. Terrible. Kick. Oh, I'm so sad. <laughs> like, even though it doesn't, I know it doesn't matter. It's, you know, all that. It's still, it's still a bit sad, isn't it? I miss SBB. Yeah, SBB was great. No, it just, it just looks bad. You know, like it looks. It looks bad, yeah, yeah. The, the artwork put me off. I'm sure the gameplay, you know, will be fine eventually and stuff. But, you know. Well, the storybook brawl was great, man. It was really great. This is really rough for Inarian now, isn't it? I wonder if with this, uh, with this setup, the Marcellus should have just gone for a quick score. What he probably should have done was a quick score or a Dakar and not whatever the fuck this is. <laughs> There's my pro tip for uh, the Marcellus if he's watching the replay of this. Don't do whatever the fuck this is that you're doing <laughs> in the future. You want the low, bang in a quick score or Dakar. Don't just don't do this. Don't just do whatever this is. Get all of your players manned up by Black Hawks, one gang filed, and then haven't starting to roll dice. Not good.
Oh my god. <laughs> Talking about conceding in the Discord. <laughs> Tom Schnitt Tom Schnitt said it's about commitment, not about having fun. <laughs> and then Orton said, just like marriage. <laughs> Brilliant. it was with <laughs> Ori getting World Sitar and then Nick or <laughs> Interesting Hellboy, interesting. There is a, uh, the Hearthstone have got an auto battle though, don't they? So, could just play that. No, I don't really. Are you getting the guard? So I guess the Discord noises. So now he does go for the quick score. Ish, but he's not in range. <sighs> it was nearly a sexy chain versus uh, the Marcelo. Misclicking at the end was rough. So there were things I could have done better, right? Not misclick. Put the guard in the middle. But really, my, my offensive drive was pretty great, I thought. Obviously, got the dice for it and what have you. Yeah, it's funny, I, I never really fancied the Hearthstone one. The Hearthstone Auto Battler, even though it's essentially the same. Like, you know, it was it was totally ripped off, wasn't it? It was actually totally ripped off. Um, Storybook Brawl totally ripped off the Hearthstone Auto Battler. But then I never really fancied the Hearthstone Auto Battler. Troll Blitz gets tackle on as well. And I guess goblins in front. I 
I think you gotta put him on the him. Oh, he doesn't doesn't tag that guy. I quite like tagging this guy, but then this doesn't do a whole lot. But I guess it stops the switch around a little bit. Tank Sea Brawls for the raid. Glorious. I hear the result of your game, but no spoilers, please. I'm hating this play from Lamar Soleil just quietly, but he's getting away with it all. But then I hated most of Inarion's play too. <laughs> oh, that is a dangerous push square, isn't it? Oh, wow, so... Grab him to here. Chain him into there to block and then get this blitz. Tackle blitz. Get the push. Oh, he goes to the, goes to the power, gets a removal. I mean, just blitzing the blitzing the witch is all right, isn't it?
Yeah, indeed, chunts. And now all of a sudden it's not so easy, is it? He's just dilly dallying around. Getting away from the tackle is pretty good, though, isn't it? And just two plus everybody off, can't you? And have a cage. But I mean, this is way, way worse than it needs to be, right? This could have been so much better. This is pretty ugly drive <laughs> a pretty flipping ugly drive and I know he's taking some removals but Rolled a two plus. And he's rolled a one. Brilliant. Can two to him with snots, can't he? Or does he just go for the four plus to hit with tackle? Gets the Kaz off the serve. I guess as as much as like it's kind of like safer with the goblins, then you've got no recovery, have you? Whereas with this four plus off, if it works and you get the pow, it goes in the crowd, you've got three gobbles to respond. Four gobbles. Another removal. Man, it's really tempting to just go for it with goblins though, isn't it? One, two, three, four, five, six. GFI. In fact, he can block first if you're not going with him. So then you can just tag. So he should have done this block first. If he's doing this play, he should have done this block first, right? Because then he could have moved him out of the way and not had to do the GFI. Like, failing with a black hole could have been terrible, right? Absolutely terrible. Oh my god, and he gets the power anyway. He catches it. So I, I understand the, like, not wanting to just, you know, one in four and then be fucked. No, it should never have been on. No, it was it was pretty terrible by Le Marseillais. Lovely double GFI, isn't it? Complicate things a tiny amount. Lovely foul. Diced. 
Did I give the coals a six? It's the pal. Pushes him away, obviously correct. Breaks AV. But this is a GFI, isn't it? Doesn't do the GFI. Oh, he's got the witch off that didn't get her armor broken. But it's only wrestle. Oh, has she done a handoff? Is she going to hand it off back? That's pretty good, isn't it? He rolled a one. <laughs> Just blitz her, pow her, and chain him away. <laughs> Has to use his last reroll, doesn't get the pow. This is thrilling, isn't it? Watching people think. He's got to try the pickup again, hasn't he? Like, you can't just let elves pick the ball up. Even though it's scary because he's got no rerolls.
Wow. Who can say if it's good or bad? It's a thriller, don't go anywhere. A minute of watching somebody think. <laughs> Way seashell. Getting out of his angry, oh no chance. <laughs> yeah, Sean Faria. This is the problem with live games, right? If you if you've got a co-caster, like you know, like Dimmy, you know, somebody hilarious, Elliot, Hancock, Fymir, Kalon. I don't know how I took me so long to get a Kalon, the master of filling dead air, PC. You know, all these people who are great, but um. If you're on your own, you've just got to sit there and watch people think, haven't you? Or like talk forever, and I'm, I'm not a Kalon level talker. Yeah, I thought you'd do that. The Witch Blitz. Fails the pick up. Re rolls. Roll the one. Roll the double one. <laughs> wow. I mean, Lamar Soleil's had some shit dice, but he's fucking deserved them, if you ask me. Does he blitz and then assist the three D block? I quite like this, right? Or I guess the gob the goblin can assist the three D, but by doing that blitz first you get the three D with the blockless the blockless three D. It doesn't get the three D. Maybe he's gonna foul the blitzer. We blocks with him, okay. Put tackle on the ball. This is interesting. Two D the blitzer. Wait, no. Okay, I'm bamboozled again. One, two, three, four, five, six. Is he just going to foul and not go for the pick up again? I think he's just going to go for the foul, eh? No? 
This is the foul. But again, no pickup. Gets the Kaz. I mean, the Kaz is pretty good for winning in overtime. Four Kaz. Oh, give the call works again! <laughs> oh, wow, Scumbaginarian. <laughs> Glorious. I mean, this is pretty good, isn't it, against no rerolls? This is a lot of dice rolls. Wow. Nightmare drive for uh, for the Marcel Air. Look at the Swiss. Yeah, he does need to get to overtime and have a chance in it. But still, it helps if he gets there, isn't it? And he's only got... Essentially, what, one chance to pick up the ball? One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, so he's got two chances. Because it provided where it scatters. There is this guy free, isn't there? So one, two, th three, four, five, six, seven. Gee, if I pick it up, something like that. No, yeah, and Arryn's going this way. So. He's seven away. This was Le Marcelet's drive. It may not look like it, but this was Le Marcelet's drive. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it could be good content to teach Le Marcelet the game. <laughs> Only joking, okay? I'm just, it's, just, it's just entertainment. It's not being mean, okay? It's just jokes for humour. It's not being horrible. Scoring fast or daquering Seabros, one of the two. Do one, right? Thanks, Christopher V. Either score fast or dacker. One of either two. Either one of the two, right? They can both fail. They've both got pros and cons. Yeah. You know, people who think the DAC is shit and wrong are wrong and shit. <laughs> but, oh my god, he's literally moved away one of the players who can score. Inarian is a prize mad lad, isn't he? Inarian is a prize mad lad. <sighs> Doesn't make it a 3D. He couldn't risk brawlering it because he could just skull, right? Well, he wanted, he wanted to shore it up, didn't he? He wanted to shore it up in case things failed. But it didn't fail. Like, it's quite reasonable save moves first in case of failure, but obviously when you've got no rerolls, it's pretty scary, which is why... Like this guy's here. Look, this guy's going for the foul. If this guy's going for the foul in Arian, bloody three dear. <laughs> Jesus Christ.
He's won the toss. Flip me. He's still got a chance, even with seven players. No rerolls on either side. Oh, he's got pro. He's got pro for the whole game. Holy moly. I just realised he's still got pro. This is looking uh, it's looking strong for an Aryan, isn't it? Two stuns. Ball picked up.
there's another one. You can just do loads of safe moves first, can't you? Really nice. Really nice here. You could just get forward and then like just try and camp like in this area and eventually push forward a little bit. Well, this isn't looking too safe. And I thought he wasn't going to activate the troll because it's like he was next to it in a cage. So move that guy before you activate them, right? Like that's. That's Blood Bowl 101. What if he blitzed, triple skulled, and gave 2D on the ball? If you're going to move that guy, if he uh, goes stupid, just move him first anyway. Thanks, Keith. I mean, I did make the big mistake versus Galencho. Sarcasm. This has been pretty entertaining, yeah. <laughs> the Anarian. Completely exposing the ball, Gary, and then Lamarcelin not hitting the ball. <laughs> it's got to be one of the best things. Whoa, that's that's a really far goblin. I expected him doing that the previous turn, like when there was almost less in the way. Go on here, and they might get two more. Very safe. Has he made a gym cage? <laughs> Like, 
why why is it not a cage the removal and, you know this is, I guess he can run around here but he's got GFI with him to stop that three with dodge two with dodge one two okay so now it's a four with dodge Oh no, yeah, he's there, yeah, so it's 4 2 with dodge. 1 2, 3 4 5, 6 7, GFI, GFI. 1 2, 3 4 5, 6 7. No, yeah. It's got to do the GFIs. Okay, that rush, that rush saves it probably completely. Not really, you can still double GFI and hit the wall here. Maybe you just four plus in for then a one D shit, isn't it? So maybe you dodge this one around the back. That's terrible. You've got to get in front, so probably shouldn't have sent him forward when you've only got five players. So. So you get two players back. This guy, no, this guy blitz. So I, oh, okay, so he blocked him. He's got a block. Is he gonna GFI to put tackle on, or just, or just stand up on top of the witch? Hmm, maybe standing on top of the witch was better, eh? You don't have to roll. And maybe putting this guy here to stop things. I'd be very tempted to play very safe. If you've got five, you can go one, two, three, four, five, can't you? Which is the ultimate. The K Fog corner. No, because then you can get pushed in. So you have to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, which he doesn't have. <laughs> Indeed, shouldn't I? Indeed. Just 
turn over. Come on in, Arian. You can play this out. He's got five dudes on the pitch. Wow, Daedal. Hello, Daedal. What are you missing? <laughs> Inarian being an Aryan. We were just talking about it the other day. Nice that you're still around. Just some Swedish magic. <laughs> it's been a bit of a dicing. Well, it has been a bit of a dicing, but also I think it's been a bit of a deserved dicing for the Marcel. <laughs> but then, to be fair, Inarian deserved some fails as well. It's a, it's it's been a bit of a sloppy game. Yeah, we were saying. Uh, how wonderful you are. Yep. I think Lamar's has given up a little bit here. That's some of the block. Has got to keep the tackle on the witch, right? Doesn't break AV. You can get out the the like both bludgers here, right? 
Oh, this is tackle though. But 3 2, and then like have him stand here or something. And then 3 2 through tackle sucks a bit, doesn't it? Well, he can 2 plus off anyway and get another player up. And then you can. 3 2. He can dodge and then blitz, I guess. Oh, he fails the 1 in 9. Only one turn left, which is out of range, I think. No, which is in range. So actually, he only needs to care about the witch, right? Because this one isn't in range. So he literally only needs to care about the witch. So all of this is incorrect. He should have been down here farming the witch. Could have stood right in the corner. Like, he could have just moved one square over. Mars has taken a while here. He can base the ball inexplicably. Inexplicably, and Aaron is not what is not directly in the corner. I mean, he's, he's only got one turn left, like, he can't do anything. Like, saying he's given up, it's like, there's nothing. There's nothing to do, is there, really? Black Hawks OP, yeah, beat their direct counter. Tell you what, Inarion winning this again makes me happy that I didn't win my first two, because I would have probably just gone straight out to Black Hawks. Good thing is I can do some games now, right? Now that we've got these teams, like I can play, uh, I can have like a game versus Inarion and Oriolensis and Eliod and stuff like that. We can just have some games, some just random uh, NAF style games if we want. Pretty cool. Content in it, content. Using all of his time with zero players available to him. Is he trying to trick it in our end and not scoring? <laughs> Good see, Shark. So we've got a one turn with five players and movement seven. Which isn't exactly realistic, is it? But there could be a riot, so you shouldn't really bother about the one turn. You'd be setting up for the riot. Or as it's called now, timeout.
So this is fair enough. I mean, taking a while to think about this. What you should do is aggressive columns. Well, he has done aggressive columns, but he probably should have put the goblin in the middle, right? And the troll. Troll here. Goblin in the middle. Cheering fans, and Aaron is not diced. He gives Iron Man to the pro guy. <laughs> and the Marceler ends the turn. And there you go, and um, not It is a bit sad yet, Chicken, but uh Yeah, that was a. Uh, yeah, there have been some big names eliminated, yep. And, uh, you know, the Marcelet is now eliminated. Inarion gets his last chance in January. And uh, congrats to Inarion, commiserations to the Marcelet. Uh, pretty fun game. Thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.